Hi guys, and welcome back to another Dot Race video, and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 20. We're going to be using Kevin Schwantz and continuing on with our MotoGP Classic Championship right here in Bruno. So here we are in Bruno, Gardner, Kaczynski, Dewan, McCoy, Crivier, Schwantz is your front rows, Arbe, Roberts Jr., Biagi, Rainey, Lawson, Rossi, and Jeremy McWilliams at the back of the grid. Another wet race, another difficult track for me. Let's see how we get on and just go for it. So starting from sixth place on the grid, electronics are set, waiting for the red light to go out, and the red light is out. Can we get a decent start here, starting from sixth place? Oh, brilliant start from Max Biaggi, wheeling all the time from Kevin Schwartz. Rossi's up on the inside on the right there. Jeremy Williams on the left, as we can try and go around the outside, potentially. As a, oh, do it, has gone down! Do it, and Roberts have gone down! Carnage already in this opening Grand Prix! Oh my goodness, C contact made there between Schwartz and Rossi, as Carnage has already been ensued in this Czech Republican Grand Prix. Doing Roberts Jr. both down and out of the Grand Prix already. As Max Biagi is just ahead of us on track there. He has a pretty decent start considering where he started. Of course, starting from oh, as Rossi was very close to the back of Kevin Schwantz there on board his Suzuki. Gary McCoy, fresh off the podium in Silverstone. He'll be looking to do one better here today. As we go around the outside of a couple of rides there. Now closing in on the Kajiva of John Kaczynski. A little bit wide there. But, oh my goodness, I'm all oh, contact there made by Arbe and Schwantz. But my biggest fear now is Alex Crivier is into the lead here as we try and push John Kaczynski a little bit wide there. Gardner into second. He's doing better and better this season. He's progressed like a fine wine, getting better with age. Just slide it into turn eight there. Too much of a slide. And, of course, we will crash out just like we did in Silverstone just a couple of weeks ago. Last week ago it was. Careful. Don't want to be sliding any more times as Wayne Rainey gets ahead of Gary McCoy. He's battling for 8th place as McCoy fights back. Lovely part here for Kevin Schwantz. The corner named after him in turn 10 of the Bruno Czech Republican Grand Prix. Brilliant track, but certainly not one of my best. But I am getting worried that Alex Crivier is checking out of this Grand Prix already. I think he wants to check out now, take the 25 points and head over to Mategi. Another track that I tend to suffer with. Oh, God. Another slide of the rear there. Running a different electronic setup today. This is a recommendation. Oh, Crivier's gone down! The championship lead has gone down! Alex Crivier is down and out of this Grand Prix! What a turnaround! Oh my goodness, he had the world in his hands and he's thrown it away! Alex Crivier has just binned it into the second to final corner. Unbelievable! Who the hell seen that coming? He has been impeccable so far this season, and then mistakes have been made, head in hands for the Repsol Honda team and Garage and everyone who's watching. Unbelievable, Alex Crivier has binned it, championship lead or not, too, too much pressure. He knew Schwantz was coming, Gardner's looking menacing as well, but I was trying to say a quick shout out to Daniel O'Brien for helping me out with the electronics on this bike, ever since he suggested lowering the engi engine brake and manipulating a few more with electronics. We're doing a little bit better on board this Suzuki right here in this pouring rain. Real, real torrential rain here in Brno. Difficult to ride in, difficult to compete in, but we're going to continue to do what we can. But we are miles ahead now compared to the rest of the field. Gardner, Schwantz. I'm more than content with just sitting behind Gardner, but I've just noticed a few overtakes coming up in the bottom left-hand corner of the screen there. Alex Crivier is still on board his motorcycle. That spells danger for the rest of us. Is he still going to be fast? Or is he banged up? Let's hope uh, the latter, but hopefully he's still okay at the same, same time. <laughs> Gardner getting away at the front now a little bit. Not mad at that one, to be honest with you. I'll be, I'll be more than happy to let Wayne Gardner, as he has a quick look over his shoulder, let him lead this Grand Prix. Let him be the guinea pig. Let him do the donkey work, so to speak. And Kevin Schwantz can pick up the pieces if anything goes wrong. And of course, 20 points in the championship is crucial because we need to retain that championship. In fact, we don't need to retain it. We need to regain the championship lead because Alex Crivier did pinch it from us last time out when we uh, almost died in Silverstone. It's Wayne Gardner going into the second to final corner. Bearing in mind, this is the corner that Alex Crivier went down on, so we have to be safe there. Do not want to be following him doing in that corner. No, we do not. As Gardner will set the fast lap of the race, I'm guessing. We set a 2.02.971, waiting for the gap on... Oh, it is. It's Kevin Schwantz who sets the fast lap of the race so far. Oh, my goodness. Immediately betted 
by our big championship threat and foe, Alex Crivier. He's been trying around the outside of Garda now, not carrying enough speed to go around the outside of the Honda man. He is too good. The Australian's giving everything he's got. But can we get him on the brakes going up into the tight left-hander? Not quite. We're not close enough for turn three. Crivier and Rossi are having a brilliant battle there. Rossi fighting for that fourth place finish. He'll be looking for his first podium of uh, the season as John Kaczynski. He is behind as well, so Rossi would have to get past John Kaczynski to get on the podium. Breaking into turn five for the third time of asking, giving it everything we've got on this Suzuki, but I must say I feel a lot more comfortable right now as Rossi's into the podium positions for the very first time. As John Kaczynski also likes to give it back to the youngster and take third place, and then Rossi fights back again. We now have a, a, an interesting battle going off there as, oh my goodness, Alex Crivier's into fourth place already. As John Kaczynski fights back and takes fourth place once more. And then is going to take fourth place again from John Kaczynski. It's good to see what's going on behind as Rossi is 3.2 seconds behind Kevin Schwantz and Wayne Gardner. Now Gardner is, is eking out quite a funky lead here. I think he's going to be absolutely fine and dandy. And if we can't catch him, then you know what? I'm not. I won't be mad. I, I'll be. I'll quite happily accept second place. We have to be smart about this championship. It's all right taking the glory each win, but ultimately we want to take the big prize. We want to be the big cheese at the end of this one. We want to take the gold. We want to take all the rubles with it. So we need to finish and just finish races. You know what? Podium positions are not bad things. Just got to do what we can to make sure we finish. It's oh, wing God has gone down. Gardner's gone down as well in the same corner that Crivier met his demise. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we have been gifted the first place. We're now the donkeys. We're the guinea pigs. And we're going to have to do what we can now. I'm going to quickly pause here just to make sure I was recording this one because <laughs> superstitious me. I wasn't sure if I was recording it or not since it happened in the endurance race. There's no way I could miss this one because this is incredible so far. Crivier down, Gardner down, we're into the lead on the fourth lap of seven. This could be a wonderful, wonderful finish for us. We are miles ahead of the rest of the pack right now. Brilliant stuff as Gardner is... He says he's in fourth place. We were quite far ahead. So considering that Gardner's been able to get back on the motorcycle and be still in the podium fight is certainly, certainly an achievement. But we don't need to focus on that right now. It looks like things are going to calm down a bit for us now. It's down to us to concentrate now. And, oh, our first mistake of the race there. Give us three tenths of a second penalty for cutting that corner. It was a bit of a mistake on our part there. I don't think we deserve the penalty as such. But we'll take it. It is absolutely fine. Three tenths of a second is better than crashing, certainly. As I can uh, take a bit of a breather now. I've uh, certainly lost my voice in this one so far. Kevin Schwantz is leading this Grand Prix. Rossi in second by about three seconds behind... Rossi could definitely be taking his first podium of the Grand Prix, of this championship, should I say. So, shout out to him as Kevin Schwantz navigates his own corner. Not bad so far. Anti wheelies up to four. Traction control on three. Engine brake on two. That seemed to be the difference maker when it came to sliding the rear tyre in the wet. The engine brake is helping quite significantly. As Norik Army is now into the podium positions. Good stuff for him. As Gardner immediately fights back, because Norik Army will be in his home track next week. Or in fact, if we say in real life, that'll be Saturday's video. So stay tuned for Mategi in three days' time, two days' time. I can't remember. I don't remember when I upload these things. <laughs> I think this one's uploaded on a Thursday and the other one is uploaded on a Saturday. I think that's sounds about right. <laughs> if you are enjoying this content so far, be sure to hit like and subscribe. It'll be very, very grateful because we're on the verge of hitting a thousand subscribers. So I'd be very grateful if you could help me get to that milestone sooner rather than later. And I love the pun of saying milestone when we're playing a milestone game. Now Gardner is back into second place. Only temporary though, because Rossi does fight back. But how much did Gardner lose? Did Gardner lose a bit of oomph and so did Crivier when they had that moment? We'll soon find out, but we do have three laps remaining here in this Czech Republican Grand Prix. Brilliant stuff from Kevin Schwantz so far. He's looking impervious in this one. Of course, it was the impeccable Crivier that was dominating a quite a good couple of races this season. And Kevin Schwantz could be on track to take his second win, I do believe. Yeah, I do believe it's the second win. We won in Donington Park and potentially here in Brno, but we mustn't get ahead of ourselves. There's still two and a half laps remaining. We have three seconds of a penalty. Gardner 
Arbe, Rossi, Crivier still there, all battling for the final podium position. Anything could happen. We could see them behind. They're, in fact, doing us a massive favour there. If they continue to battle it out, we should be absolutely fine. There's no way they should ch chase us up now. So, fingers crossed, we can just continue to do what we do best, and that's leave this Grand Prix from the front and sort of concentrate on what's ahead of us, making sure we're not just pushing it too much, sort of taking it steady, just to calming it down, and just trying to finish this Grand Prix in the best possible position. As John Kaczynski has now got ahead of Alex Crivier. Crivier down to sixth. Kenny Roberts Jr., who didn't actually end up crashing out of the Grand Prix, looks like he got back on. He's recovered to 10th place over Wayne Rainey. Wayne Rainey seems that sort of tay to tay with uh, Kevin Schwartz and Magello. Certainly hasn't been himself recently. Oh, I've gone wide for turn 13. Oh, my goodness. I felt like that was going to be deja vu, but instead it was going to be us crashing, not Gardner or Crivier. As Piaget is now head of Alex Crivier, he's up into 6th place. Crivier down to 7th, that's good stuff for us. Regardless of where Crivier finishes now, I think we'll still be in the championship lead. Unless he comes back and finishes 2nd, which I very much doubt. As Kenny Roberts Jr. sets a ridiculous lap time there. A 2.02.492? That's an unbelievable lap. Especially on the penultimate lap, or close enough to the penultimate lap. But I don't think it's going to be enough. It's certainly going to show him what could have been in this Bruno Grand Prix. Which, of course, is not always a nice blessing. It's always a bit of a uh, moral victory. Like, yeah, I thought I could be competitive, but we weren't. As Gary McCoy has also struggled in this one, not reenacting his Silverstone performance. I mean, and everyone who was on the podium in Silverstone has done badly so far in this race so far. It's uh, difficult to uh, estimate in this Grand Prix. I did not think we would be leading this Grand Prix with on the penultimate lap by about three seconds. Bruno, Mategi are probably my two most difficult tracks, I'll be honest with you. Mategi is probably one of my least favourites. And Bruno, I love the track, but I just don't do very well at it. So, fingers crossed, I can still hold off Rossi and co. Three seconds, yep, yeah, as long as we manage about two to three seconds, we'll have this in the bag, because there's only one more lap to navigate. And then Kevin Schwantz will be taking not only the victory, but the championship lead. Plenty of fuel remaining for Kevin Schwantz, and that's not really a concern right now. Give it everything we've got, giving into the left-hander here. Turn 11, nice and smooth on the acceleration coming out of the corner, so we don't slide the rear. Flick it right for turn 12, and aim for the rumble strip. Good stuff so far. Still wheeling a little bit, still need to sort of work that out. But uh, by about round 7 or round 8, whatever this round this is in the championship, we're still not figuring that out yet. But give me time, we'll get there. As you now flick it right for turn 14. For the second to last time, we've got one more lap to navigate for Kevin Schwantz. Slowly drying here in uh, in Czech Republic after he finished this Grand Prix. 2.7 seconds ahead of Rossi, Arbe and Gardner. That came up very fast on the timing screen there. So all four of them are in a shout for the podium here. Even John Kaczynski is a little bit, a couple of bike lengths behind, but you never know what happens in front. But currently as it stands, it's going to be one hell of a podium here, ladies and gentlemen. Kevin Schwantz for the win, Rossi in second, Arbe third. That would be a terrific podium for us. There is not one single championship contender in there right now who's going to dethrone Kevin Schwantz. That is brilliant. Fingers crossed that's the way it stays. Wayne Gardner is or was particularly a championship contender until he crashed out of this Grand Prix. Crivier has now lost another spot to Gary McCoy. That's fantastic news for Kevin Schwantz fans and the Suzuki Garage. With only half of the track remaining... I don't think there's anything going to change here. Kevin Schwantz has looked so comfortable on the wet today. A shadow of his former self compared to last time. He was torrid in Silverstone. He was fast in Silverstone, but made way too many mistakes and ultimately paid the price. As Rossi is 2.7 seconds behind, that's a gap we don't even need to concern ourselves anymore. Looks like Rossi did get ahead of Arbe and Gardner. So it looks like Rossi is going to secure second. If Arbe is going to secure third, who knows? difficult to say at this point of this race and by the time I was racing this one I wasn't really that bothered just sort of focusing on the task at hand using everything we've got just being gentle on the motorcycle just staying focused being calm and collective just doing everything right just doing it the correct way that makes sense so coming up to the final two corners the treacherous turn 13 brake nice and early use a little bit of rear brake if you have to 
bring it to the left, get ready to flick it right in a moment's time for turn 14. And that is it. Kevin Schwantz will win the Czech Republican Grand Prix. His second victory of the season and he regains the Championship League. Kevin Schwantz wins right here in Bruno. So a brief look at the final results. Kevin Schwantz wins. Rossi, Arbe on the podium. Garner, Kaczynski, Roberts Jr. Biagi, McCoy and Crivier. So as mentioned in the race, before Kevin Schwantz ultimately crossed the line, he does take the championship lead. 11 points over Crivier, 51 over Rainey, and Norik Arbe, an unsuspecting championship contender, in fourth place. So guys, a fantastic race here today. A lot of ups and downs, but mostly ups for us, so it's brilliant stuff for us so far. Really pleased with this one. Thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one as much as I did. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be alerted to every single Dot Race upload. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys, and ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.